Hello everyone, this is Faith from Fire Sign Tarot. I hope everyone is well. If you're new to our little channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Alright, it's time to start the second half of May cycle. It's probably well past time, but you know, I always find myself behind the eight ball and under the wire. So we're gonna get them done and get them loaded for you guys to enjoy. It is Taurus season. Taurus will go first. Again, Taurus goes first, Aries goes last, all the other signs. Well, if you can figure out the order I'm going in, leave a comment. And I'm thinking there might be a special prize involved. So, all right, we'll figure that out as it goes. Might be a free reading, who knows? Anyway, Taurus. This reading will be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to you by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it is your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay. It's a general reading. It's not going to resonate with every Taurus. That's fine. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid, and all things can and maybe vice versa might play out from the perspective of a cross-watcher's point of view. If you're a cross-watcher popping in, come on in. I love having you guys. You guys make it fun. <laughs> I used to cross watch. Okay, maybe I still do, but we're not talking about me. We're talking about you, Taurus. Don't forget to check your moon rising or Venus sign readings if this one doesn't quite resonate because sometimes those will resonate a little bit better depending on the energies in the air and what's going on in your life and what your questions might be. If you feel so compelled, then I'm not going to twist your arm. Hit the like button. Share it if you think a friend needs to see it. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to see more, hit the notification bell. Okay, two more for Taurus, and I think we're going to be good. Yeah, I want to talk to you. I will be declining calls and ignoring text messages, but I have to keep the tone on because... My son's class starts in about 25 minutes, so I'm going to have to pop out and make sure he's doing school stuff. All right. Oh, Taurus, why are you here? High Priestess in reverse. Home. Some of you might not be listening to your intuition. Some of you might be dealing with an egotistical person. Maybe you're being a little bit egotistical about something. Possibly your ego has been a little bit wounded. Take it however it resonates. All right. All right, we'll leave that till the end. Wow, okay. Taurus, how you feel about the person you're dealing with is the hair effect. This is the card of blessed unions, marriages. It's also the student teacher card, like life lessons and all that karmic stuff. But I'm catching a vibe that. You may have very strong, deep feelings and feel a very strong, deep connection for this person. You might, you might want the package. You're feeling like they're the one, possibly. What you think of them is the Six of Swords. You think they might be still moving on from something? Like something's still in process. What you want from them is the Nine of Pentacles. So you might want them to be a little bit more independent of themselves. Maybe possibly not be so clingy. Could be an air sign or an earth sign you're dealing with.
how they feel about you as the star reversed. It's the Aquarius card, by the way. Just throwing that out there. They're not quite feeling the flow. The energies just aren't quite right. Possibly they feel like you're still going through something. You haven't healed from it yet. What they think of you is the Four of Pentacles in the reverse. So you need to let something go. You're in the process of releasing something possibly. Everything's in process here. What they want from you is the alchemist. They want you to manifest what you want. They want you to come forward. Get your poop in a group. Take control of the situation. Taurus, you're pretty good at that. I'm surprised you haven't done it already if you haven't. The challenge here is sadness. Five of cups. So possibly one or both of you is still coming out of a state of sadness. We've already went over that. You think they're still going through something. They think you're still trying to let something go. You haven't healed from it yet. What needs to be done? King of Wands. Somebody needs to do something. <laughs> Somebody needs to forward movement. Somebody needs to ignite that passion. The King of Wands is the something something card. You know what I'm saying. Uh, potential outcome is the Seven of Pentacles. So patiently waiting. Patiently waiting. What are we waiting on, Taurus? What are we waiting on? Mm. By the looks of things, this kind of has you all up in a wounded ego kind of thing. All right, let's get a little clarity. What am I going to clarify with today? Mm. I like the steampunk deck. It sat in a box for a while, so we're going to use it. <clears throat> Not really a whole lot I think needs to be clarified, but we're going to... I think we're going to throw one on each. Uh, do I go in order? Uh, give this a couple of shuffles. Just to some energy into it. Universe, can we get some clarity on the cards on the table for Taurus for the second half of May, please? Taurus for the second half of May. Okay. Why is the Hierophant here? One card. Thanks. Two of Cups. Reverse. They feel the connection like it's strong, two of cups reversed, it might not be reciprocated. How does that even make sense? They feel you feel like they're the one. Maybe you're feeling like they're not feeling it so much. Possibly. Let me know if it resonates. Why is the Six of Swords here? Why is the Six of Swords here for what Torch thinks of the other person? One card. One card. Okay, give me two. Page of Swords, Ace of Cups reversed. Page of Swords in the upright, Ace of Cups reversed. Their thoughts are with someone else. There might be communication with someone else.
not necessarily the lovey-dovey want to start over with someone else communication, but their thoughts are definitely with someone else. Or at least that's what you think, Taurus. All right, why is the Nine of Pentacles here for what you want? Okay, I'll take two. Page of Pentacles reversed in the King of Cups. You want them to be independent from whatever it was that their thoughts are still with. You want them to reject other offers. You want you want that madness to stop. You want them to open up emotionally to what you have to offer. Okay. All right. Taurus wants all the love. Uh, that might be a little bit of jealousy going on here hence the wounded ego thing going on okay well why is the star reversed here why is the star reversed here for how the other person feels about taurus hi nine of swords reversed <laughs> You haven't healed from something yet. You try to put it out of your head. You try not to think about it, but there's something you haven't healed from. I don't think you talk about it much either. Can I throw another one on that, please? One more. One more. Five of Cups reversed. Still coming out of the state of sadness from it. Ego still wounded. Okay. Mmm. This is what happens when you take baggage from old relationships into your new ones. This is what happens. Thoughts go rumbling inside your head. Accusations get thrown out. This is what happens. This is why we close out cycles before we open up new ones. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Why is the Four of Pentacles? Too many. Too many. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? I have a flipper. <laughs> High Priestess reversed. They think you have a wounded ego because you haven't let something go. It's still in process. You're letting it go, but it still hurts. Okay. Why is the alchemist here for what the other person wants from Taurus? Nine of Pentacles reversed. Judgment. They want you to manifest something. They want you to make a judgment call.
They want you to admit vulnerability. They want you to need them. Why is the Five of Cups here? Three of Cups reverse. There possibly could have been a third party situation involved for one of you that you're still coming out of sadness about. There is a disconnect. The Hierophant. The Hierophant popped back up again. It was a blessed union. Somebody, it was probably the breakup of an engagement someone's still coming out of. This was serious. And you took the baggage with you, didn't you? One of you did. And one of you has a very wounded ego here. Why is the King of Wands here? Ace of Swords reversed. Seven of Swords reversed. Okay, well, I don't know which one of you is doing it. It's hard to say at this point. Could be both of you. And I'm not saying it's not okay to be friends with your exes. That's perfectly fine. If you can accept that the relationship has ended and there's no going back, be friends with your ex. Talk all you want. Until it sparks jealousy issues. Okay? You need to move forward. Don't be sneaking around and lying about it. You need to come clean and be honest. A conversation needs to happen here if this is going to move forward. If you're going to come out of your states of sadness, a conversation needs to happen. An honest conversation. And for some of you, not necessarily all of you, Communication with the ex probably needs to stop. Because that's where the swirls of deception and thoughts stirring around in our heads and things like that come about. Lack of trust. You have to be able to trust each other. Can I get one more on that for what needs to be done? Eight of Pentacles. Throw the work into the relationship that you're in. Don't try to work on past relationships. Those are done. Those are over. Put the work into the relationship that you are in. I think I've said enough on that. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here for the possible outcome? Knight of Wands. Mm. Will of Fortune. Okay.
changing of cycles, patience, and player ways. For some of you, not necessarily all of you, for whoever this might be resonating with, someone's going to be left waiting for that Seven of Pentacles to turn into the Eight if somebody doesn't stop playing games. I don't know who's playing games. One of you is. Or the potential is there for the games to begin, if you know what I'm saying. That's where the communication with the exes needs to stop. Okay. Cycles need to end for new cycles to begin. Okay. Let's get some additional advice in case y'all need it. The Prince of Cups reversed. Or sorry, yeah, the Prince of Cups reversed and the Ten of Wands reversed. This is where the honest conversations comes in. If you're going to commit, you got to like lay your burdens down and you got to end your cycles and you have to get the stuff off your chest. Got to lay the burdens down. Four of cups reversed and the nine of wands. Don't have your walls up so high that you miss the boat on this one. The universe is trying to hand you something. Don't ignore it. Don't ignore it. Stop looking at what the past handed you. Because the past handed you what it handed you to prepare you for what's coming. Okay? That doesn't mean you suspect things. Okay? Because when you suspect and you point fingers and you accuse, you're opening the door for it to happen. You're manifesting it. You know what I'm saying? Star reversed and the Six of Pentacles reversed. Y'all don't heal from this. It's never going to be equal give and take. Because the fingers are always going to be pointing. And someone's always going to put more energy into it than the other person. Y'all got to heal. Three of Swords reversed, Queen of Swords reversed. Watch your head. Just don't be kind. Watch what you say, how you say it. Watch what you think. Or you're just going to shove somebody right back into that state of sadness. All right. I guess that's time. Taurus, thank you so much for hanging out today. You guys have been great. If you haven't already, hit the like button. Share if you think a friend needs it. Subscribe if you would like. I would love that. That would be super cool. And hit the notification bell if you want to hear more from me. Also, on a side note, I am available for personal readings. I do readings in order of which they are asked for. $15 for one question, $10 for each additional question, $50 maximum, that's American US dollars, which means I will never charge you more than 50 bucks. You could ask for your life story, I'm not going to charge you more than $50. Alright, there we go, you guys are wonderful, love you to bits, catch you later.